up 31 nothing. Why weren't you able to maintain and get first downs and at least run clock in the second half with Jeff Lockie? Was sure. it that much of a drop off with Vernon? I mean, no, nah, you know, at the end of the day, we we didn't execute on certain things, and whether it was a you know turnovers, it's hard mm -hmm. to overcome turnovers, a snap here, a snap there, and then you know we had a drop or two. Um, yeah, we would have loved to run the ball every snap, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, you have to complete some passes. Mm -hmm. And you know what? We to get 31 points, we played fast and we had them on their heels. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if, if you're going to control the clock, you still got to be able to execute. And there were times where we didn't execute. You know, hats off to them because they're a good defense. They force you to execute. No, 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 no disrespect to Jeff Locke, he's a Division One player, but is it limited what you can do offensively with uh, him? I mean, he made the one play late in sure. the game, but other than that, he really struggled. No, you know, we, we ran our offense. It, it was a tough situation to put him in because, he, for a whole bunch of reasons, one, you know, Vernon takes the one reps, and we and we do rep the twos in practice, but he gets all the looks, and then you come to a game cold, and you're not used to it, you got to get adjusted. So, you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard. Um, could he have played better? Yeah, but there's a, a lot of guys could have played better. I, I was proud of his mindset and the type of person he is. Mm -hmm. is as good as a kid. He's a coach mm -hmm. on the field, mm -hmm. and uh, you know he's, he'll be the first one to say, "Hey, there's, I could have done something better." But you know the quarterback, it's, it's a bad deal because they, they take way too much of the blame. Mm -hmm. Way mm -hmm. too much of the blame. I mean, it's, you know, obviously it, to pick a snap off the ground is a hard deal. Yeah. <laughs> that one would have scored a touchdown. I could have changed the game. There's mm -hmm. so you Carrying can't. Him. Yeah, I mean each. There's so many different plays in a close game. You can say, this could have, should have, would have. But like I said, at the end, that's football. Mm -hmm. They made one more play than we did. And mm -hmm. They won it. They deserved to win it. You guys had 18 yards in the second half. Did you get a feeling like you just could have gotten one drive or kind of extend one and kind of stop their momentum that that would have sure. maybe kind of changed things yeah. around? Yeah, you know, and and, main, and grind some clock. Yeah. You know, help our defense out and let them rest a little bit. But that's, you know, we felt if we could, yeah, get, get one score, you know, one score. Mm -hmm. Would, would change change the way they have to play mm -hmm. too because they still had enough time where they could they could be balanced they could run it and they could pass it um, but it didn't happen. He was going the first half. I mean, 376 yards in the first half. Obviously, change of quarterback. But did you feel like in that second half, it just it was I mean, the plays not working? Were they not executing? What you kind of see that slowed you guys down? Well, it's a, always a combination of things. One, they they did a good job. You know, I think I, they made some adjustments, um, and and we didn't execute. You know, when when you you don't get the snap. That's a bad deal of execution. Just yeah, that's where you beat yourselves. Um, and we we've taken a lot of pride in that this year. Say we're not going to beat ourselves. We're not going to turn the ball over. We're not going to get a penalty. And um, we're not we're going to catch balls. Those are all things. That's that's nothing to do with TCU. That's us. And so mm -hmm. some of those things happen. And it's hard enough to beat a good defense when when you don't execute and control the things that you can control. Um, but you know, all that being said, I'm so proud of our guys because they never quit. And they kept playing. You know, that's, well, that's football. You're not always going to be 100 percent every time. But can you come back and play the next play and, and keep competing? I, I felt our guys did that. Do, do, do you see what happened, to Adams? I mean, what, was it a concussion? Uh, I didn't even hear it. You know, I just you don't know came, what happened. No, I didn't know. Well, I'm assuming it was. I don't know to be honest with you. They just said he couldn't go. Kind of like this. A I know he bit. took a shot. It seemed and, uh, like they turned it up. You know, it was 28 nothing, and they. It seemed watching it that they started to turn up the intensity defensively. Did you sense that? It came right before the fake punt. I think they brought a little more pressure. Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought they they brought a little more pressure. Um, you know, yeah, they did. I mean, I, yeah, I think they did play harder. Mm -hmm. But I, I thought they played hard the whole game. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and so I, yeah, I give them a lot of credit. Well, the player, players can obviously feel kind of the momentum, the, the shifting of that. But when you're up in the booth and you're kind of feeling that happen, what's how's how's that affect your play calling? Like, can coaches kind of are affected by momentum as well? You try not to be. <laughs> you know, you really do. You try to just be emotionless. And matter of fact, so I, I wouldn't even watch our defense. I was working on the next series um, and what, studying what what we've done well, what we haven't done well. Uh, you know, tendencies, formations, and then the biggest thing is staying with our plan, staying what we've, we've practiced all month and, and not panicking. Um, I don't feel we did that. I thought we stayed with our plan. You know, at the end of the day, like I said, they, they made more plays than, than we did. Your, your guys' offense is so much timing based, whereas, you know, a low snap that takes off a, a quarter of a second, got a backup quarterback in there, maybe he's a quarter of a second slower than Jeff. Just how, how much quicker did it seem like they were able to kind of get into your guys' backfield and put pressure on you guys? Well, I mean, they started blitzing a lot more in the second half, so that, that creates pressure. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know how many 
snaps and muffed, but that's that's our execution. And when, we, when you don't when you don't do that, that's that creates pressure even if they aren't rushing. So it was a combination of things, you know, a combination of those guys, you know, bringing a little more pressure in the second half, and, and our guys, you know, we need to execute better. And that, that was basically those two things. Do you feel like that game kind of summed up your season in a whole when Vernon's in there, sixth best offense in the nation, when, when he's not in there, you can barely move the ball? <laughs> well, I think we moved a little bit when it wasn't in there. But um, he's a special player. You know, he's a great player. Um, he makes things happen. And that's uh, you know, something that, it, it, as a play caller, he can get you out of a bad play because he's he can do so many different things. And uh, yeah, and then, but the other thing that he does too is he's such a leader. And I think, you know, when, when, it, when a guy like that, who's a presence like on the field, it, it, it does affect the team a little bit. But, you know, I, it, it's saying the same thing. I thought Jeff, in the situation he did, I thought he came in and he hit his butt off. He did everything he possibly could. He really did everything he possibly could. Cool.